Hi, I am Dr. Sudarshan, Consultant Cardiothoracic Surgeon at Fortis Hospital, Bernakata Road. I specialize in uh, minimal invasive cardiac surgery. Now, what is this minimal invasive cardiac surgery? Whenever any patient is uh, sent to us for surgical consult, the first and foremost thing which comes to his mind is what is the surgical risk, how long do I have to stay in the hospital, and how soon can I get back to work. Now, over the years, cardiac surgery has evolved to become one of the safest procedures with success rate of 95 to 99% for most of the procedures. Even today, we do most of the procedures by making an 8 to 10 inch incision in the midline and by dividing the breast bone and completing the procedures. At the end, we unite the breast bone by putting multiple wires. In the process, the patient has to take certain precautions for the whole duration of uh, the sternal healing uh, in the form of uh, wearing a chest binder, not lifting heavy objects and to avoid uh, driving for this whole duration. Occasionally, we come across patients who have impaired healing of the sternal bone, uh, especially those patients who are having uncontrolled diabetes, who are obese, who have poor immunity and these patients have uh, uh, chronic pain, internal infections and chest instability. The newer technologies have been evolved to avoid this morbidity in the form of sternal healing and uh, we have devised various procedures by which we can cut down this uh, morbidity by doing partial stenotomies while we can do the same procedures by dividing upper half or lower half of the sternal bone. By these uh, approaches, uh, the morbidities have come down to some extent but not completely. So, uh, and some patients do ask for no incision in the midline. So for these uh, newer technologies, we have also uh, shifted this sternal incision to one side of the chest wall. So now we do these uh, approaches by doing a 3 inch incision to one side of the chest wall without cutting any breast bone between the intercostal spaces and this is called the minimal invasive cardiac surgery. The advantages being the patient doesn't have any pain, there is less incidence of blood transfusions, there is less incidence of infections, the patient can get back to work within 2 weeks time as opposed to 8 to 10 weeks time earlier and the hospital stay comes down to 2 to 3 days as opposed to 5 to 7 days. Now what procedures will be performed by this incision? All the procedures of the heart namely uh, beating heart coronary artery bypass grafting, the valve repairs, valve replacements and ASD closures. Now you may ask why don't we offer this to all the patients. Now all the patients are not fit for these procedures. We do come across uh, patients who need multiple valve procedures, who are very sick and uh, who need surgery on an emergency basis. So it is the surgical team who are the best to decide based on your age, med medical records, based on the echocardiographic findings to decide which approach is best for you. So in the end I would say uh, we the mixed approach is the best approach and uh, it is uh, the procedure which is safe and successful uh, as opposed to by doing a minimal invasive incision. This World Heart Day pledge to save yourself from the only life threatening block. Block the block.